I am in Minnesota today, right on the shore of Lake Superior at this incredible waterfront villa dubbed the North Shore Cove. It has one of the most eye-catching exteriors I've seen in quite some time. I think it's a true showstopper. And the interior is very modern and high-end. So really pumped for you all to tour this Airbnb with me. Let's now go and check it out. Welcome to this incredible modern villa right on the shore of Lake Superior. We're now gonna walk down the driveway and round the corner, and this is your first glance of the stunning front exterior. It's basically completely made up of a wall of windows, and it's quite tall, just towering over me. There are a total of 13 windows on the facade. I also loved all the wood finishing and the roof. I think it contrasts very well with the gray paint job to make a very polished and modern look that is very impressive overall. You'll notice you have a lot of outdoor space and a large patio, probably best used when it's a little warmer out with no snow. But you also have this lovely gas powered fireplace. It's very easy to turn on and just look at how close the lake is to this property. If I now take the drone, we're gonna zoom out a bit and this is exactly where the Airbnb is located. Just look at this view. The name of this Airbnb is actually called North Shore Cove because we are located high up on the northern shore of Minnesota and you quite literally have your own completely private cove just a few steps away from your front door. Let's now get a bit closer to the cove to get a better view. There is a path right outside of your villa. It is about a 60 second walk down to the beach and ground level. This is more of a bird's eye angle looking down into the beach, which we're going to head to now. There are also some other rocks, cliffs, and fun areas to explore on your land. But if we now continue on, there's actually a staircase built into all of these rocks. It was actually a really fun time just walking down to the beach in itself. And this is now finally your view as if you're walking along the beach. I mean, I have showcased a lot of Airbnbs on this channel, but very few have had premier waterfront access like this. That will do it for the exterior and all of your surroundings. So I'm now going to open up this door and come inside because it is time to check out the interior. First up, you do have a bit of a mudroom with this bench. So I'm going to take off my shoes and this is your initial glimpse into the ground floor with your kitchen and living room. But let's now walk in a little further. We'll begin in the kitchen. The highlight, of course, is that gigantic kitchen island countertop. You have plenty of space if you'd like to cook, along with those four super comfortable chairs. Looking further down, you then have your sink and stovetop. And if we come behind the counter, you'll find more appliances like your dishwasher and oven. In your far corner, you have a double door fridge and freezer setup. I brought Chipotle on this day, which I was very much looking forward to eating after shooting nonstop. Next up, this is closer towards the front door. You have what I'll call the coffee wall, which is stocked with a bunch of goodies like biscotti, all of your Keurig cups, and you have a wide selection of tea. This is what the entire setup looks like. It's very well stocked for you to get your caffeine fix. I'll now briefly point this out, but right below that counter, I'll open up these two cabinets and the host somehow managed to squeeze in both a washer and dryer unit into this very small space. I don't believe they're available for guest use, but I wanted to point them out for design purposes. Let's now venture to the other end of the ground floor and we'll come into the living room. This entire area has a very open floor plan as you can see here. Against this wall, you do have this sweet gas fireplace setup, which you can turn on with just the touch of one button. Next, in terms of your furniture in this corner, you do have a large L-shaped couch, another chair right next to it. There's a few games and also your guest book, which is always great to read about other guest experiences. And last, but certainly not least, above your fireplace, there is a smart TV. Let's head through this door next, which will take us into the one bathroom inside of this Airbnb. You have a simple sink and countertop area, and above your toilet, a shelf with some extra towels. There's also your second floor staircase out the door, which will head up in just a sec. And this is your shower, which has some very bright blue tiling. 
That's it for everything on the ground floor. So we're now going to round this corner, come up these stairs and enter into the second floor. There is a lot for us to explore up here. This will take us into your bedroom. It has a huge king size mattress with a bunch of pillows and some photos of North Shore Cove, I believe are right above the bed. But of course the best part is all of these windows. Again, just constant natural light will be streaming in at all hours of the day. But just imagine waking up in your bed every morning and having a view like this out into Lake Superior. Definitely tough to beat if you ask me. Now, looking back towards the bed, you'll notice two doors on either side. We'll go through this door first on the right, and this will take us into one of the walk-in closets. You have some storage space and hangers here. If we now exit and go to the other side, you have another similar closet. I definitely imagine mostly couples would book this place, so you basically have a nice his and hers closet set up in your bedroom. Let's now go to the left of the bedroom to finish off the tour. We will come into this combined office and coffee nook space. I think the owners made great use of this area. And yes, you heard me say coffee nook twice. That's because if you really don't want to get out of bed in the morning and walk downstairs, there's a second spot to make your coffee, which is also stocked with a lot of the same goodies that we saw downstairs. In this far corner, you do have a comfortable leather chair and there's even actually a real orchid and a bunch of its flowers were sprouted during my stay. It is really beautiful. Then there are a bunch of books and games all up and down this shelf. I could definitely see a lot of guests booking this place for a week or so to have a change of pace and to work remotely. I mean, how could you say no to this view from your desk? I did actually take a bunch of calls during my stay and the Wi-Fi is really strong. Last but not least, if we glance over the glass railing, you get this cool view down into the ground floor. It just really shows how tall these ceilings are. Thanks for watching guys. You can check out some of my favorite Airbnb playlists down in the video description and I'll see you all very soon for another brand new Airbnb tour.